Hello, my name is Frida. I'm Ellen. And I'm Tanya. Now we're going to talk about cochlear implant. When I was how cochlear implant when I was three years old, which was very long time. I had I had mine at two years and four months. And I had mine at ten. Now this we technology is called receiver. And you'll probably get this inside your head after your operation. And basically, it's just, it's just in the head, and these well, wee bits these are going through the cochlear, which is a sound. And after the high operation, it was just, just it, like that. Now, these are the microphones you hear, and the sound will just into the head. And don't expect to hear sound right away, because it'll take a few weeks after the operation. Um, for cochlear implants, we have batteries. Me and Fraser, we need these batteries, and we need three at a time. When they run out, we actually hear three beeps, um, and we and we use them about six per week. But for Tanya, I know you need something else, don't you? I use the chargeable batteries. So. Um, here's a, um, a nuclear five. She just charges this and put it into a machine, and it actually lasts us about thirteen hours. Very good, very good. Um, shall we talk about like music and um, computers? Yes, sir. It's a cool technology you can get. This is a uh, my iPod and a iPod should maybe iPod now MP3 or TV is possible as well. And then basically you just put this onto your cochlear mm. and then simple plug it in. Then you have to restart it. And put it back on, and then you can just play music as oh, you like. That's me playing a song called Gummy Bear. Love this song. No. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, thank you for watching. I mean, you'll be fine with this. Thank you. Bye. Bye.